Hello, my sweets. So, anybody that knows me knows that I am a sucker for a good mystery. And I've been seeing this game floating around the ether. So I thought, why not? Let's try it out. Welcome to the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Let's see what this is all about. Phew. Made it, to, made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. So far so good for my first day on the job. Oh, I totally forgot my name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. I'll just sign my name here. Hello, my name, oh, what should my name be? Sassafras. That's my name. I don't think I could show my face around here again if I wrote that. Why? Oh. The game thinks I'm swearing. Let's try again. I'll just sign my name here. Mm. Hmm. What should the name be? We'll go with Nina Bina. Because why not? Mina Bina. Did I spell that right? I'm pretty sure I did. Hope so, anyway. All passengers can read my scribble. The dining car. So fancy. Uh-oh. Am I nervous? Is this first day on the job, Jitters? Breaking the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, Mina Bina, shake it off. Damn. <laughs> I just slapped myself in the face. Mina Bina, did I uh, just see you hitting yourself? M Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you doing this morning? Ho ho ho, quite alright myself. Though feeling a little bittersweet. Is that because you're a sweetie? <laughs> That's something you say on your first day. Well, truth be told, not really. Alas, today is my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. It's time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She already got our plane tickets to Spagonia locked. Spagonia. Ha ha ha. Our shower's been on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotel. <laughs> I can see why his wife's excited. Enough of my quibbles. Today's your first day working the dining car. Here's the menu for today. Add it to my inventory. Awesome. I can open the inventory anytime to view the items I received. I should look over the menu carefully. Chili dog, ramen, chicken cordon bleu. Oh, okay. Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. Ha 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 ha. Though, I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Crab ringer. Oh, that sounds amazing. Spicy grilled picky. I have no idea what that is, but I'd try it. Chicken cordon bleu. Ding ding ding. Glad you can read the menu, okay? Ha ha ha. A little about the vessel. This is a state-of-the-art, high-speed, smart train with all of the latest gadgets. Except a kitchen. Because all we use is a microwave, apparently. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. What's the event for- what's the event today? A murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. Guests will be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that, you'll be on your own. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understood? Our paying guests are paying for a train with no kitchen. I have so many questions. I can't afford to lose this job. I'll make you proud, sir. <laughs> Glad this old man can rest easy. 
Doors to the Mirage Express are opening. All aboard. Ding, ding. This is cute. Oh, the Mirage Express is looking pretty snazzy. Oh, and here comes everyone. It's Amy. Wow, this train is incredible. What fascinating tech. You're right, Tails. I can get used to staying on a train like this. What did you all expect? You know I always go all out for my birthday party. This train is as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. Calm down there, Rouge. Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? It was a pen, knucklehead. Who's going to miss a teeny tiny pen? What a cast of, what cast of characters am I stuck with? Get a hold of yourself, Mina Bina. You're sweating through your, you're sweating through your uniform. Hey, pal, can I get one of those chili dogs? Radio, friend. Well, aren't you friendly? Yes, I am. Why can't I be normal for one second? Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's roles to get food. <laughs> Sorry about that birthday, girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, Mina Bina, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk with and we'll collect their ticket. Oh, okay, got it. Look at everyone. It's Knuckles. Howdy, could I please get your ticket? I think that's a ticket, but I really don't want to argue with this guy. Uh, everything looks good, thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. <laughs> Can I get your ticket, youngin? See, that's how your ticket is supposed to look. Right here, sir. Thank you. May I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. No way. I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me, too. It's my first day, and I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous. You're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. Haha, <laughs> absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. Ticket, please. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself on board. Heh. Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst, but my kids swore you, you would swoop in eventually, and you did. I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second. Is he... Is he Sonic the Hedgehog? I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. Yes, have fun now. Will do, thanks. Aww. Mina Bina got starstruck. Could we please see your ticket? Of course. Espio. Espio looks fancy. Excellent. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely. I appreciate it. There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence puts me at ease. You consider me calming? He's looking right at me. I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Oh, wow, ninjutsu? That sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you cling on to walls? Cling on to walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a, looks a bit too smug at that answer. Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Uh, yeah, sure. Of course. As a gentleman of outstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. He seems to be avoiding eye contact. Is something amiss, sir? I seem to have a misplaced my ticket. Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket, and I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't you worry, we'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Ugh, oh, that would be amazing. Thanks a million. 
sometimes is always to keep our eyes peeled for his ticket. And the birthday girl. Look, we'll do hers last. Here. <laughs> Shadow looks so excited. Thank you, everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? Do you sell gift bags here? Uh, no, sadly, but I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I could get for you. That stare. Brr, so cold. Mina Bina, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? <laughs> no, no, I'm good. May I have your ticket, please? Oh, well, look at you. Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. A princess such as myself must always be punctual. Pr princess? Did she just say princess? If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. A separate what? Just here for Amy's birthday, then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I admit I'm a bit excited. Ho ho, you don't say. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Sh should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Please get up. Why can I not win with this group? Well, hello you two. What can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? My, my, how forward. Let me fetch it for you. Come back if you need anything else, you hear? Wow, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. I'm gonna have to kindly ask for that back. Rouge, baby, what are you doing? Yeah. Oh, this was yours? You must have slipped out. Here you go. I may not actually be the best at judging character. And last but not least, the birthday girl. Can I please get the birthday girl's ticket? <laughs> Why, certainly. Thank you, miss. And thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. Maybe we should leave her to have fun. Before we move along, for you, miss. Oh, how fun! Thank you! Where do I use this? That unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. Very useful. We'll use this wisely. Thank you. Yummy, don't mind if I do. Mina Bina, those are for our guests, you know. Train, be sure Mina Bina only gets one of those if they ask. Did the arm just kind of nod? Actually, uh, Train, the conductor wants me to have the whole plate. Haha, <laughs> good try, young buck. The train and I have worked together a long time. You'll have to work harder than that to get what you want. Drat. Those snacks look really tasty, too. Oh, look at this. Hmm? What's that sticking out of the napkin holder? It's Vector's ticket. Say, wasn't someone looking for their ticket earlier? Let's be sure to return this to its rightful owner. And let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. Alright, that's Vector's ticket. Find anything yet? Well, we just might have what you need. Mina Bina, why don't you show our friend what we picked up? Ah, there it is. That's my ticket. Thank you. Thanks so much to you both. 
was really worried you kicked me out and I'd miss the murder mystery. Ho oh, ho, old Mina Bina here would have would have had their hands full kicking you out. You're right, I wouldn't leave without a fight. Dude, I'm not fighting you. I don't I don't fight crocodiles. Or is he an alligator? Either way. Teeth. No thank you. <laughs> yeah, so funny. So funny. <laughs> yeah, we're all laughing. Wait, who made me both microwave expert and security guard? You're both alright in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course, just let us know if you need anything else. Okay, everyone. Time for me to read out everyone's roles for the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must repair the driver's compartment for departure. Ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express? Absolutely, you can count on me. To be honest, this group seems plenty capable on their own. And train? Assist Mina Bina if they need any help, won't you? Haha, <laughs> that's all I need to hear. You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor in his train. Excellent, I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please, have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place either. This train is state-of-the-art and has systems for dealing with all of that. For everything else, please talk to Mina Bina here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Will do. Goodbye now. I like that guy. Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you all read your lore cards as well. Why was lore cards hard for me to say? <laughs> lore cards? That must be the details of their motivations. I suppose it makes sense lore cards aren't read aloud. Otherwise, people would know the murderer's intentions. Now, on to the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered and the rest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters they will be playing. Participation is required for it is my birthday. Of course. Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you are a ship captain and you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Tails, you are the, the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Rouge, you're a business tycoon. And Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. Hmm. Hmm, sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher. And Espio, the poet, both found in the library. Hear that, Espio? We get to hang out together. And do what? Read? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something. Shadow is the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. Hmm. Last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Sure. Ah, I was listening in. Hope that's okay. More than all right. You can help ensure everyone's following their rules. Oh, that reminds me. I have a map for each of you. Yes. Everyone's station is marked on this map as well. How convenient. Add that to my inventory. The rules of the game are as follows. There is a murderer amongst you all. The murderer can kill a single participant however they choose, but you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect the evidence throughout the train and use it to interro interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can, find clues, and interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone, to your stations. so exciting. A mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. How thrilling I get this is actually pretty exciting. Same! Ah, isn't it awesome? 
Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. This way, there's always a neutral party. Hmm, makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery... About deciphering the mystery anyway. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably ex inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. My backstory is that I was best friends with a flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Not gonna lie, this kind of sounds fun. Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. Huh? I always love when the music turns diabolical. The train started moving! It's so fast! Grab onto something! What is going on? Ah! I'm slipping! H hold on! I can't! Oh no! No! Oh no! It all went wrong! Alright, so let's see what happened on our next episode, my loves. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like what you saw, by all means, smash the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. I'm gonna catch you back here for more shenanigans and insanity. Take care of yourselves. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye.